Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of math review. Today we're going to be looking at practice points set 19 and this is page 1 looking at multiplying and dividing of whole numbers. The first question up here says find the product of 31 and 85. Remember we need to know what product means. Product always means the answer to a multiplication problem. So we know we're going to be multiplying these two numbers together. We're going to set it up by stacking them. and we're going to multiply. Remember that you're only going to be using your ones column first, so you may want to circle your tens column, tens digit, so that you know to use it later. All right, let's start. Five times one is five. Five times three is 15. Let's do our housekeeping, which is to add a zero at the bottom, cross off our ones place, and cross off if there was anything extra up here. We don't have anything right now, so we're good. All right, let's go. We're now going to use our tens digit. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Our last step is that we add those two uh, parts together to get our final product. 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. We carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 4 is 6. And the 2 comes down. So our answer is that the product of 31 and 85 is 2,635. All right, let's look at number two. We have a division problem, and we know we're going to have to set this up like long division. So the five goes on the outside, we make our division house, and 905 goes inside. All right, so remember our steps are to divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down and repeat or remainder. We just keep looping back through this until we get done. So let's start with dividing. Five goes into nine one time. Then I'm gonna multiply. If you wanna put a little times over there, that sometimes helps people to remember the order. One times five is five. I'm gonna subtract and get four. I'm gonna check to make sure that that's smaller than five, which it is. So I bring down my next number, which is a zero. So now let's repeat. I'm going to divide 40 by 5, and I'm going to get 8. Multiply, 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract, 40 minus 40 is 0. That is definitely smaller than 5. So now I'm going to bring down my last number. Repeat one more time. How many times does 5 go into 5? Well, once. 1 times 5 is 5. I'm going to subtract, get 0. Definitely smaller than 5. Nothing else to bring down. And now this is my remainder, but there's nothing there, so I have no remainder. My final answer is 181. All right, number three is another multiplication problem. And we're going to set it up by stacking. We're going to circle that tens digit on the bottom number so we know to use it later. And let's begin. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 1 is 41. Our housekeeping is to cross off anything up top, cross off our ones, add a zero. Nine times two is 18, carry the one. Nine times eight is 72, plus one is 73. And now I'm gonna add those two parts together. Zero plus zero is zero, one plus eight is nine, four plus three is seven, bring down my other seven. My answer is 7,790. Okay, let's look at 70 divided by 4. I'm going to set this up. How many times does 4 go in to 7? Once. So I'm going to put my 1 up there. 1 times 4 is 4. I'm going to subtract. I'll get a 3. Check that that's smaller than 4. It is. Bring down my 0. Let's do it again. 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. When I subtract, I get 2. It is smaller than 4, but I have nothing else to bring down, so this is my remainder. Remainder 2. Last problem, 74 times 36. Let's stack them and solve. Circle my tens digit to use later, and let's begin. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 4 is 44. Now I do my housekeeping, and I start with my tens digit. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 more is 22. 
Let's add these together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Bring down the 2. My final answer is 2,664. There's the review of practice points, page 1 of set 19. Please remember to ask your teacher if you have any questions.